Hello, this is Jeffrey Tiefertiller. Welcome back to our YouTube channel, Service Management Leadership. We appreciate you visiting our channel and hope you'll look around at some of our other videos and leave feedback on all of them, please. So today's topic has to do with monitoring an incident console within the Remedy, new Remedy 9.1. Remedy 9.1 looks totally different than the older versions of Remedy and so this console for tickets looks very different and we want to show you what it looks like using their demo data, uh, it's fake data, it, but it should give you a great idea. Specifically, think about how to use this console if you're managing a queue for incidents or problems or changes. How do we how do we manage this queue? How do we look at the workload that we need to manage? Things of that nature. We thank you for joining us. Now let's look at the, the console. Well, let's look at how we can get to our ticket console. Once again, the Remedy 9.1 is laid out pretty simple across the top where we can create new changes, incidents, things of that nature. But if we go over to cons console and we go to our ticket console, even though over here on the left it are the things that are incidents, alerts, things of that nature, but we want to know to our ticket console, we can do that. We can do that here. So let's look at this real quickly. So this is all the tickets or the tasks that have been assigned to us. And we're able to sort or filter by priority or ID, making it go A to Z or Z to A, customer name, assignee, things of that nature. But I wanted to show you this because we can look at our tasks and see these right here look just like the old remedy where you can, on the overview console, you could sort by my assigned tickets, all open incidents. But all the open changes is very, very interesting because you used to have to expand from the left on all the applications to see it. But also my groups assigned tickets, all of this is pretty interesting because you can see them all together. And if you're a small IT shop, it'd be nice to see the incidents and the changes either separate or combined, and that's great. And there's filters, we can save it as a preset, all that fun stuff. But I want to show you you know, how to look around on the new Remedy 9.1. And to remind you, this is this is demo data. This is for demonstration purpose only. It's fake data. And so it's just interesting for those of us to play around with. But I wanted you to be prepared to, on how to get the most out of your Remedy 9.1 with this short video. This is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. Thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel. Please like or share the video. Subscribe to our channel. Leave us feedback below. We'd love to hear from you. And we hope you have a great, great day. Bye.